welcome back to my channel. Happy September. I cannot believe how fast this year is going and I've totally forgotten about the word of the day so let's do one today and I'm gonna do a phrase um, which is one I get asked all the time. People always say to me, how do you say my name is Karen? So I'm gonna say um, how to say that and you say mage nama Karen. So mage is my, nama is name, and of course Karen is my name. So mage nama Karen. And I got so used to like saying that quickly because seriously people would ask me all the time, how do you say my name is Karen? or my name is, you know, etc. So, for example, if your name is Amy, <laughs> I'm gonna pick on Amy, um, you would say Maginama Amy. Pretty simple stuff, so hope you guys like that. Anyway, this is gonna be organized-ish chaos, um, but I wanted to do my August haul for you guys. Shockingly, even though I wasn't supposed to buy anything, things seem to have crept in like sneaky little devils that they are. You know, stuff just creeps in. So, I bought this um, during the Nordstrom mascara sale. I don't know if I already talked about it, but I'm just going to talk about it. Anyway, this is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I bought this because of Annette from Annette's makeup corner, right? I totally just blanked. Anyway, that girl raves about this and has also now converted me to love this mascara. Unfortunately, I have a ton of the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascaras because that was also one of my favorites. Um, so it'll be a while before I can repurchase this, but I am thoroughly enjoying that mascara. I also picked up this highlighter during the Sephora sale. This is the Peach Fizz Highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm so excited for this guy because you guys know I love a good peach highlighter. Oh my gosh, my hand is tan from swatching the Glam Light Paint Palette, which is what I use to create this look. So uh, no good swatch, but it's beautiful and I used it in my Sephora sale um, trying new makeup video. So if you want to see that, go check it out. Also got this little baby sample, which I used in this makeup look. It's a eye primer from Anastasia. I like it. Don't really feel like I need to buy the full size. I have the Makeup Revolution cut crease. Works just fine for me and very affordable. Bought a bunch of foundations <laughs> this month. Um, so I have the Anastasia foundation. I like, I like all of the ones I've bought. So I can't really like, I don't know how to say like, one is better than the other, which probably means I just need to try them out more. I like them all. There's not one I don't like, so that's good. So Anastasia Foundation, Fenty, which is the one I have on today. So again, you can see that in action. This is the only one I haven't used on my channel yet. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I wasn't gonna buy this, but then Alta had a coupon, so I did pick it up. The packaging is plastic. It has a weird like little dent in it. It's weird. Almost looks like it's like a Lego piece. I don't know. I like this one too, so that's good. This is the Pat McGrath primer because I bought the Pat McGrath skin fetish system. And it's nice. It's hydrating. It was definitely like a bad idea. For me, like I like all the products that she came out with, but I I'm now just like $250, really Karen, like that was unnecessary on so many levels. Also came with two brushes. These brushes are not worth the price you pay for them. Um, so I would not recommend buying these full price if you've had your eye on them or you collect Pat McGrath. Honestly worth skipping. Love this guy. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Banana. I love how big this is. I've already talked about it in so many other videos. 
So if you've been wondering my thoughts, those are it. Okay, I'm gonna grab the smaller basket because this one has less stuff and then I'm gonna go into palettes. So in here is my little M Cosmetics order. It came in this cute little bag, so I like kept it that way to show it to you guys. I got a lippy, which I like. It's a good lipstick. Would I say it's worth the price point? No, not for me because I'm not really picky about lip formulas. Like it doesn't bother me if they're drying. Some people it does really bother. I get that. And then what I really wanted was one of their serum blushes. So I picked this up in the shade Sunset Sky. I think these aren't really like tan girl friendly. Um, this one shows up on me for the most part but if you're darker than me i don't know that this would work on you and most of the shades are pretty muted so <laughs> i don't know that any of them would work either like i don't know that one would be more tan girl friendly or deep tone friendly um, but i like it i don't love it it's a little high maintenance for me uh, the lippy is okay I need to throw these boxes away. I just kept them so I remember to talk about the product. The eyeliner, I haven't tried the pencil liner yet, but the liquid liner is not good in my opinion. I think there's way better liquid liners out there, so don't spend your money on that. And if I try the pencil liner and I really, really like it, I'll let you guys know in an upcoming video. This pouch is cute. I could use this. Oh, I wonder, can I use this for TSA? Hmm, there's a thought. Okay, here is uh, the mother herself's foundation. This is, I mean, it definitely, okay, so compared to like these three, it definitely feels like a little bit more luxurious. It's like a nice beveled bottle, very nice packaging. I actually like this foundation on me, which I'm happy about. I can definitely get full coverage from it, so that makes me happy. And I was really terrified because you guys know how long it took for me to get the package. Here is all the box packaging from Pat McGrath that I can now throw away since I filmed this haul video. And then here's all the mascaras I stocked up on with the various sales that I took advantage of um, in the month of August. So now I can put those away as well. And then here is the Pat McGrath powder in the shade medium. Um, this is the third shade in her five shades. So that is the powder that they paired with my foundation because if you bought it online, they gave you a powder based off of your foundation choice. So the other thing I picked up, this is one of my later Sephora orders. I picked this up because it sounded really interesting. It's a scalp moisturizer. So if you've if you're not new to my channel, you know I always complain about having really oily hair. And hair is, or your scalp, is very much like your skin. If you have really dry skin, it basically means your skin is um, almost like overhydrated. Because um, when they say they have you have oily skin, it's because your um, skin is overproducing oil to compensate for the lack of hydration in your skin. Does that make sense? So it's the same with the scalp. So the fact that I have really oily hair means that my scalp is overcompensating for the lack of moisture. So I bought the Jojoba Tea Tree Scalp Oil by Earth's Nectar Hair Care for dry and oily scalp. And I'm curious to try this out and see how it works out. I'll keep you guys posted. Not a hair person, not a hair channel not a hair guru, don't know what I'm doing. Um, so like I said, I shall keep you guys posted. So. This basket is so heavy, okay. Girl went in on some chaise. Okay, so I got a bunch of rainbow palettes, which is why I don't think I should get the milk radioactive palette. But um, here's the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today. This is the Glam Light Paint Palette. Um, this is the packaging. Here's the palette. Um, this video will come up soon, so you'll see swatches and stuff like that. And here is what it looks like. Very pretty. If you have this, do you even need another palette in your life? Because you can do a neutral look. You can do all the colorful looks you've ever wanted. 
I really despise this packaging. I bought this because I like the formula. Um, so I wanted to try it out and see. And that's my whole story and I'm sticking to it. Next thing I bought is the Color Rain Power Palette. Here's what it looks like. I really like the show. I haven't seen it in a long time. I've seen a, the first few seasons and then I fell off the wagon. Um, but I wasn't expecting this to be a purple palette. It's very much a purple palette and I'm kind of shocked. I don't know what the meaning behind the shade selection was. I haven't seen a video about that from the brand or you know maybe it was in explained somewhere and I just like haven't seen the video. Um, but I'm also low-key annoyed because this palette's like already on sale and it's pretty recent launch. So I thought Colored Rain had kind of ironed out their pricing strategies because they were pretty bad at one point. They were really pricing things. They were kind of like overpriced and then they would constantly have like codes and discounts and stuff which was really bothersome to me. So yeah, now I'm like bothered again. I'm like this is one of those brands I would not recommend purchasing full price. Not worth it. Okay, this is just... A purchase I made on Ulta. I shared this deal um, with you guys on my community page as well as my Instagram. Ulta does usually have these um, buy to get two free of Ulta brand and that's when I stock up on these. I love to use these Ulta Z palettes um, to store my single shadows and I love that they're all the same size so it's very uniformed. When I open my single drawer all the palettes are the same and I love that and I love that they're um, clear in the front so I can see what's inside them and so they had a buy two get two free. They're $20 a piece so each palette was $10 um, once you broke it down and then they had $10 off a $40 purchase. I paid 30 bucks for four of these which I thought was a great deal so I'm really happy with that purchase and then I got some PR from a local-ish company. Um, this is the brand Cloud Beauty and they sent me some singles to try out. I did do a swatch party video with these. Um, personally I feel like they're too muted for my skin tone um, you'll see that in the swatches. I tried to make the best of the situation and I wanted to show these to you guys. Um, so let me know what you guys think when you see the swatch party video or if you've already seen it. Let me know your thoughts on those. And oh, let's do some color pop. I bought the Soul Shimmering Dry Oil and the brush. I'm hoping I can take this on vacation with me um the next couple of weeks i have a few trips planned so maybe i'll do that is this one ounce though yeah it's too big for me to take on carry on and i'm hoping to do just carry on my next flight so we're gonna have to skip that and then i picked up the sigma ultimate blending brush set I'm really trying to buy um, and invest in better quality eyeshadow brushes. I love eyeshadow. I have a lot of Morphe brushes in my collection, but I think it would be smart for me to invest. So I was really happy when they came out with this set. From what I understood, this is three of their most popular blending brushes, and then they did mini versions of them. So. I have been using these and I love them so so much. I've used them in a bunch of videos and continue to use them with my Sonia G and Wayne Goss brushes. So really like these guys. I won't keep the packaging so I'm going to put it in my throw boxes away pile. And I think all I have left now is all the fun palettes I picked up this month and my plan is to not buy anything in September and October. Um, I did buy the Give Me Glow Vintage Rose palette which came out on um, August 30th and then my one pass for September that I've predetermined is the Pat McGrath 
Mothership 6 because I can't pass up on a Papagraph palette. I mean, I can, but I really want it. <laughs> I want to play with it. And there's nothing else really that I have my eye on. I thought the Celestial Storm by Dominique Cosmetics was really pretty, but it's nothing I really like need need. And then the Radioactive Collection from Melt, I definitely have my eye on that Gamma Ray blush. But other than that, I don't think I'll go for the palette because I recently picked this one up after seeing so many good reviews on the original as well as this palette and they, this came to Beauty Bay and I scooped it up. So this is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Stacey Marie Collab Carnival, Carnival XL Pro Palette. This is just so appealing to me when I saw it and I was like, yes, especially these two green shades. So I'm really excited to play with this. I have tried a few shades out and I wasn't overly crazy about the formula, but it was just like a quick thing. So when I have more time, I'm going to sit with this and try it out. And of course, I'm going to film some looks with this. So I am hoping that the next time I play with it, it turns out, you know, just like that I'm happy with it. So I didn't like waste my money you know i also bought the fumi the queen palette this is their collab and i like it i don't love it i don't regret buying it but i don't see this really staying in my collection for very long i don't love the formula i definitely like it more as a face palette than an eyeshadow palette but i don't even reach for the two face palettes I already have from Juvia's Place, so I don't see this sticking around. If anything, I would take these two shades, but the rest of them are like meh, you know? So there's a little review there for you guys, but I haven't really touched it since I filmed my video with it. And then this palette I have not featured on my channel yet, but I did pick it up. This is the Jackie Ina X ABH collab and of course I waited until the Sephora sale to pick this up and honestly I've heard so many different viewpoints on this palette a lot of people that I watch I guess are Caucasian um and they really really like this palette and I think it looks really beautiful with light skin actually and I kind of see where Tina, the fancy face, is coming from because even when I saw this palette, it was easy for me to wait because I didn't, like, the shades didn't, like, call to me. Like, I don't know, there's palettes like the new Pat McGrath palette. I know those shades are going to be stunning. So, like, I can't wait. But this one, I was like, eh whatever you know and i i kind of get where she's coming from because when you swatch like when you see this swatch on deep skin it is a pretty funky looking color palette um not that you can't make these shades work and i think these will make really beautiful looks i've used this once or twice already but i kind of see where tina was coming from and i don't know that I mean, I think she picked the shade she picked. I don't think that she did anything spectacular for the deep skin community, in my opinion. Like, I don't think that if you don't like this palette, you're a racist. Like, anyway, I don't have time to unpack that hot mess of a situation. Okay, I decided to go drugstore and pick up some Makeup Revolution palettes. I don't really love Makeup Revolution. But my friend Amy kind of made me want this avocado palette by them. And then I did have my eye on this for the longest time. And my friend Paulina has this palette and didn't really sell this to me. But it was so affordable. I decided, let me just grab it. Let me try it out. I don't really have a lot of drugstore price point eyeshadows that I love. So yeah, I picked it up. I have not used this yet. So you can look forward to a look or two maybe if I get really lucky with these. But yeah, let me know if you guys have tried out or bought those palettes, what your thoughts are on them.
Okay, and then the next thing I filmed a look with already is the KKW So Fire palette. I think she was doing free shipping, so I picked this up and I like it. I think it's a fun palette. Um, it's nice and sleek. Also, KKW just announced that they're coming to Ulta, so I've already heard a lot of people are really excited about that because um, then they won't have to pay the shipping, which I totally agree. I also got the Orange You Glad palette from ColourPop. Um, yeah, this was like an August launch, even though they've come out with 800 other things. This is definitely like a regret pickup for me. I totally see myself decluttering this in the future. I was definitely on the ColourPop hype train for a long, long time, and now I've kind of gotten off the hype train and I'm like, you know what? I don't need to buy everything from ColourPop. So that's where I'm at. I still have products from ColourPop that need to get reviewed. So I'm, yeah, I put the brakes on buying more from ColourPop. This guy you saw in my Sephora video, I definitely want to do more looks with this palette. This is the Manny MUA Strawberry Dream palette. This is the first palette I ever um, owned from his brand and I did really enjoy using it that first time I used it so very happy that I have this and I watched a video um, that just came up in my suggested videos um, just today actually and it was Manny kind of reflecting on what he had learned from drama get in one and I felt pretty good about his video like he was definitely one of those people I had kind of put on the back burner. He wasn't like canceled, but he was just like not somebody I was interested in watching. I felt very like I felt his maturity level kind of like I don't think our maturity levels matched. Even though we're the same age, you can tell when YouTubers are trying to relate to a younger audience, even though they're older. I'm pretty sure like Manny, Laura, Laura, Desi, Katie. Well, Desi and Katie kind of appeal to my age group, but Laura and Manny definitely, I feel like, cater to a younger age group, even though they are more mature. So I definitely felt like his maturity level and my maturity level were on two different trajectories. And watching his recent video, I mean, he could be acting, I don't know, but I felt pretty good about what he said about how he had kind of grown up and he's not so focused on Manny MUA. He's more focused on just being Manny. And I think that's so important to just be who you are on your social media platforms. And I don't know, I just felt really good about his video. So hopefully that means something. I don't really keep up with all the drama. So I don't know if there's something going on that prompted him to make that video. I don't know, but I thought that was a pretty good video, so I pre I feel pretty good about um, supporting his brand and stuff like that. So a brand I'm I should just stop buying. This is probably gonna be my last Morphe purchase. I don't. Well, I do really like their liquid lipsticks, so if they come with more shades of those, I might take some of those. Um, but this looked so beautiful, swatch on tan skin that I was like, you know what? Let me just buy it. I didn't buy the whole story about like him wanting to make his brand more accessible so he teamed up with Morphe and I don't really like what they're doing with like this part two launch right after like that used to be like straight from the Becca and Jaclyn Hill handbook because they would release something and then like they'd be like oh sneak peek here's the split pans and remember that whole thing so I don't like that. I feel like J-Star might be on like a real path to destruction. <laughs> the way he's going, I haven't really been keeping up, but it seems like he's definitely like on the money train, like more than ever, which I guess like some of you are probably watching this going like, Karen, I don't think anything's changed. Like, what are you talking about? But I don't know. I get this weird, weird vibe from him. Like, I feel like something bad's gonna happen soon like like drama getting what like 8.0 at this point my headband's like slowly sliding off my head okay so i do like this i genuinely picked this palette up for this these two green shades so i will definitely put together a look 
just let me know down in the comments which one, which palette you would prefer to see first because that's really going to help me. And then the palette I was least expecting to buy, I bought it only because it was available during the Sephora sale and I was like, why not? I was actually just like, why not? Um, I think this thing is kind of atrocious, but I played with the neon and I played with this shade E1 which is like what my dreams are made of. It's, it's a peach color with a gold flip and it's like the most beautiful lid shade. I haven't seen Anastasia do a shade like this ever. And then yeah for them to do neons like I didn't realize that there were neons in the palette. Um, so there's some swatches. They're definitely like pressed pigment types but they blended pretty okay and I wore this to work the other day so I'm very excited to try this out more and keep you guys posted if I can make this work most of you probably can Angelica is probably like laughing watching this video because um, she told me she wanted this palette and I was like eh I don't think I'll get it and then I bought it the last day of the Sephora sale because I was like oh that's a good deal I should it's a good deal I should get it so. that is everything I picked up in the month of August it's definitely more than what I had intended to do in August but I feel like I still compared to my previous hauls did well at just buying like less especially with, with like a Sephora sale thrown in and I plan on buying less and less makeup as we go into the end of the year here mostly honestly very honestly is because I have other stuff going on that I need to save up for and I got some bills I need to pay and that's okay like I have so much that I still need to review and show you guys and also really quick I do want to mention thank you guys so much for your views and support on the try and buy series I started on my channel I filmed the video before I came up with the name for the series but that's what I'm gonna call it try and buy and basically that was just inspired by the fact that I have so many palettes that I've never actually put on my eyes and so I picked out six palettes in my collection and I filmed an intro video I've actually worn all of them except the burn book palette and so you guys um, will see videos on those hopefully soon what I want to do is uh, a dedicated video on each palette with just like a look and swatches and then I want to do like a finale type video where I give you guys my thoughts if I'm gonna keep the palette or declutter it and then I just want to keep doing that series until I've used up everything in my collection um, which I think is gonna be really really fun so I was not expecting a ton of views on that video I think I got close to like 600 views on that video which is way more than I was expecting and is above average for my videos. I'm definitely appreciative of you guys doing that because I'm one of those creators that feels like I have to do new, 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 new. Otherwise, nobody's gonna watch my channel. And um, that response to that video made me feel like that's not necessarily the case, which made me really, really happy. So thank you guys for that. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!